guys welcome back again to my channel my name is Rebecca so today is Sunday I'm trying to get ready for church and it just popped into my head to share some important advice with my upcoming brides okay so um, I'm going to be sharing some advice regarding things that may happen during the planning of your wedding or even on your wedding day and when it happens you know how you just tackle them and some of these things you might not be able to avoid them so if you know ahead you know how to go around the situations um, based on my own wedding experience and from what I've seen happen in other people's wedding these things are things that you might not be able to avoid so when it happens how can you tackle them and you know you just know your way around the situation in case it happens if you're yet to watch the last video I posted where I talked about important things you need to do before your wedding please immediately you finish watching this video just I'm going to link it somewhere up here just go ahead and watch the video the video is very important especially if you are an upcoming bride or groom okay and if you are new on my channel please go ahead and click on the subscribe button thank you so much now let's get started let's get right into the video sorry guys the camera is here and but i'll be looking here because i need to see what i'm doing okay so the first thing that um, may happen during your wedding is that or during the planning of your wedding is that plans may change okay so plans may change during your wedding planning um at the beginning you might have plan a and then at the middle you change to plan b and maybe finally finally you just get to stick to plan c it's okay for plans to change because i mean when you're planning wedding sometimes there are some things that you cannot control so because you cannot control them you just have to go ahead with other things i mean other plans okay do not let that affect you or how you feel about your wedding or you know disrupt so many other things regarding your wedding so plan may change be prepared for that and you know when plans change you can you know just look for something else to substitute for whatever you have planned before and i'm, I'm going to give you some examples like during my own wedding i had planned to um get a ready-made wedding dress okay but by the time i start checking around you know going to wedding stores and so on i realized that the wedding dress the the prices were ridiculous and it was like outside our budget so i had to and some of the the wedding dress were not my taste so i had to change plan entirely to getting my dress made by someone and that was it i i just made my dress another example that happened during the planning of my wedding is um from the onset i and my hobby we decided we wanted a private dinner immediately after the church wedding because i mean we are both private people so we don't like noisy noisy things so right from onset we planned okay we are going to just have a private dinner immediately after the church service however at the last minute when we checked um what's it called we checked the price that it would take for us to have a private dinner with the few guests we we planned in mind and when we compared it to having you know just having a reception the price the the budget didn't make sense so it were like why not just go ahead and do the reception the reception at least will have a good environment decorated and all of that dinner is just going to be you know eat in one place and that's it so we just decided to switch to um, reception at the last minute so plans may change be ready for it be flexible um, and do not allow that to affect your wedding or affect you on your wedding day so so be ready the plans might change another thing that may happen during the planning of your wedding is that um, people we get you angry people will step on your toes people will do things the opposite of what you have instructed so be ready be prepared that people can get you angry and because you know that people will get you angry you're always just at a lot when people get you angry so you know how to react how to respond to the situation without i mean 
doing something that you will regret later it always happen in almost every wedding for people to get you angry so when people get you angry it's the way you respond to the situation that matters um, if you respond in an aggressive way of course you some some of some of the things you would say or some of the um some of the things you would say or how you would behave you might you won't be able to undo that later and people might remember this for their whole life i mean they might remember that that's what you did to them that's what you said to them during your wedding so you want to avoid that you need to be very sensitive be careful know that people will get you angry when people get you angry just you know find a way to calm yourself if you can step out of that situation or just find a way to resolve the situation without escalating that's the best way because during my own wedding people got me angry though i was sensitive enough to know that people would get me angry and I might say things I don't um, I will regret later so I was really really sensitive so as an upcoming bride know that this will happen and just find your way around the situation okay another thing also you need to know or you need to just make sure you you plan very well is that you should have a budget and have extra on ground Okay, ensure you have budget and you have extra on ground. So, um, when it comes to budget, ensure you have in your mind or written down somewhere the amount you want to spend for a particular item, the amount you want to spend for your haul, the amount you want to spend for your wedding dress, the amount you want to spend for this and that. It usually, usually helps a lot when planning so that you don't go ahead and you know put yourself in depth of what you did not plan at the beginning and ensure you have some money on ground okay like an extra make sure you have an extra on ground because some things that you didn't budget for might just come up and you need to sort them out you cannot there are some things that will just come up and you don't have any choice there are things you need to pay for there are things you need to sort out for your wedding to go fine so if you don't have any money on ground then you're going to be in a big problem so have an extra a bill or something you didn't plan for might come up and and when it comes up because you have extra you're able to sort out that um bill and you don't have issues with your wedding another thing that may happen during the planning of your wedding or even on your wedding day is that people may disappoint you okay do not over depend on people too much even when you want to depend on people ensure that you have plan b as backup in case it doesn't work out fine do not depend on people for financial help um when you're planning your wedding ensure you're planning your wedding based on your own budget um when the financial help comes it's fine and if it doesn't it still does not affect your wedding but do not over depend on people to for financial help or to get things done for you people might disappoint you so if you are someone like me I am very 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 sensitive or let me say I'm very I have trust issues when it comes to depending on people I have trust issues when it comes to depending on people so even if I'm going to allocate or assign a task to you I'm going to ensure that I'm following up back to back just to be sure that you're getting things done the way I want. So if you are an upcoming bride or a groom and you want to assign a task to someone, ensure you're following up back to back. Or you're seeking for financial aid from someone, ensure you get that money or whatever help you're getting way before the wedding so that you don't um, have any issues when it's at the last minute where you need that thing. So know that people may disappoint you. Another important advice is make sure you have some set of people that you can always call at any point in time to get things done for you and you're 100% sure they will get it done, okay? To get things done for you and then you can speak to them when you're trying to vent, when you're angry, okay? Now, this goes in two ways. People that you can talk to when you're angry and they can calm you down. Um, 
like I said before, people are going to get you angry. Things are going to go um, left. Okay, so you you still need to have that your sanity. And for you to have your sanity, you need people that can speak to you and just, you know, just ensure, I mean, talk to you and let you know that things will be fine and all. So for me, then I had my friend, Lola. I had my husband. I had my pastor's wife. I had so, so one more person. When anything happens, I'm angry, I feel frustrated. I will just call on these people and just vent. During the planning of my own wedding, I mean, the last few weeks to my wedding, I was in Nigeria. So I had my sister here that I could call to get things done for me. And my Obi also had some of his trusted friends that he could call on to get things done for him and they will get it done perfectly. So this is the reason why you need people that you can talk to to get things done and people that you can always vent to when you're angry during the wedding planning okay another thing you should look out for during the planning of your wedding is that people would want to enforce their own plans on you okay they would want you to do things the way they feel is the best however i would advise you to prioritize you and your partner okay whatever whatsoever you and your partner have decided right from onset Please go ahead with it. Do not allow anybody's um, thoughts, ideas to change whatsoever you have planned. You know, sometimes when you take all this advice or you do things the way people want you to do it, you might end up regretting it later. And you don't want to do something that you and your partner would regret later. Or even during the wedding, you're like, oh, we should have just done things the way we plan it in the first place. Another advice I will give to upcoming brides and grooms is that do whatsoever will make you happy for your wedding, okay? So far you have the resources, you have the money to sort that thing out, please go ahead. Wedding is a one-time, I mean once-in-lifetime event, so you don't want to um, constrain yourself because of this, because of that. I mean, so far you're not going to be in debt after the wedding. Please, if you have the resources whatsoever you want to do that will make you and your partner happy for your wedding, please go ahead. Go ahead. I remember during my own time, um, even though we had budgets, but when it, uh, we were looking for a photographer and a videographer. So the people my husband was suggesting or the people who were seeing I did not like the quality of their videos, the quality of their pictures at all. Like when I compared it to our photo shoot pictures, it was not 50% in any way nice to our photo shoot wedding. So imagine our photo shoot wedding, we had nice pictures, then for our wedding, we, do, we, are, we don't get to have nice pictures. It doesn't make sense. So um, the person we used for our photo shoots. We wanted to use the person but his price was really high of course if you want something of a good quality you need to pay the price so my hobby was like no let's stick to this set of people this i at the point i told my hobby i said see if our wedding pictures and videos do not come out nice i will never 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 forgive you see out of everything regarding my wedding i was more particular about the pictures okay i was more particular about the videos like these are what we will look back at in many years to come these are what the i mean what we show out to our kids so we don't want something of less quality and by the time we start showing our kids it's already like looking old i mean it's just not looking nice so i had to you know behind my hobby i had to speak with the photographer and negotiate the price and even though the price was a still a little bit on the high side but i prefer to spend more on um the pictures quality than any other thing regarding the wedding so i went for it i spoke to my hobby and we just agreed that okay it's fine this is the only thing we are going to spend excess on and we just went for it and now when people see our pictures even me when i saw our pictures when i saw our videos i'm like oh my god like i was telling my hobby after i said see if i had not enforced that we use that guy 
we wouldn't have gotten nice pictures like this so do anything that will make you happy for your wedding another thing that will happen during your wedding this one i like this one baje baje <laughs> is that people will show you their true colors they will show you who they really are and you you yourself you will show people the kind of person you are like even if you have been pretending for millions of years you see during that period that you're planning your wedding your true self will be shown to people if you are someone that is very rude if you are someone that is disrespectful if you are someone without patience everything will be reviewed during that your wedding planning because People will get you frustrated, people will get you angry. Even you yourself, you'll get frustrated, get tired with plans that you just start showing your true self. Like, <laughs> this is it's, it's something funny, it's something I've seen, seen during weddings. And even, I mean, even, of course I know myself, so I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't hide, I don't, I don't pretend. So... Whatever attitude or character I display during my wedding, I'm sure people already, they foresee it. They know this is the kind of person I am. So, but if you are someone that pretends before, people will see the true color of you. So, that's one advice. <laughs> this is not an advice. This is just something that will happen during the planning of your wedding or even on your wedding day. Another advice I would like to give, especially to the brides, please be time conscious on your wedding day. Be time conscious on your wedding day. You don't want to joke with time. Lateness, let me just say, lateness is the beginning of frustration on your wedding day. Immediately you are late for anything, you will just start getting frustrated. And when you start getting frustrated, it will start affecting your mood, affecting so many things on that day. So you really, really want to be conscious of time. I would advise to sleep early the day before, um, wake up early, start your makeup early, coordinate people early, okay? Get things done as fast as you can. I remember on my own wedding day, it, my makeup artist was my um, um, sister. So I was hurrying her, even though I knew I, I had extra time, but I just preferred to, you know, be on time or to have extra time than to be late. I don't want, I don't like anything to, things to be done in, in Russian. Okay, so I was very conscious of time. I told my sister, you have 30 minutes to finish up this makeup. If you don't finish up this makeup in 30 minutes, I'm going to complete the makeup myself. I was getting people ready. Please dress up the, the little brides. Please do this. My chief bridesmaid. We had our bed very early. 5 a.m. together. Like, I mean, uh, not together. Sorry. <laughs> we had our bed like almost the same time. So you go get ready. I go get ready. There's no going to be delay. Nobody's going to delay me. Even at some point, I was telling the photographer that I need to go down. Even though I still had like two hours before my wedding, I was already, I was ready two hours before my wedding. I was telling the photographer, I need to go down. He was the one begging me to take more pictures. Okay, so you want to avoid getting late on your wedding. You want to avoid anything that will cause frustration for you on your wedding. So be time conscious. Another advice I want to give to upcoming brides, please and please and please ensure you get enough rest before your wedding day for me i arrived to malaysia like a few days or i think a week to my wedding and because i had not been available like one month plus to my wedding i i needed to like run around with my hobby getting sorted and this and that like i slept very late the night to my wedding i slept very late and woke up very early and it told on my face like i was at at the church from the church i was already tired imagine you're already tired at the beginning of your wedding so in the church i was already tired like it could tell on my face i couldn't control it thank god for the photographer i i used like he knew i was tired he knew i was already like getting down so it was just like saying things to make me smile so that i could get nice pictures so I was really getting tired, even like 
um, even during my um, the reception time also I couldn't dance the way I wanted to dance the way I had planned in my head to dance because I was tired so please write and sure you get enough rest as much as possible because that day will be stressful and you don't want to you know the day is all about you you want to be happy you want to have fun you want to enjoy yourself so please get enough rest so that you can be active you can be alive on that day so the last but not the least advice is please enjoy your wedding have fun the wedding the celebration is all about you and your partner so have fun eat drink dance laugh smile take as many pictures as you can the day is all about you it's a once in a lifetime event even if you are going to redo it it will not be like the first one which you're going to i mean which you're doing so have fun just be happy be the most happiest person on that day overlook anybody that is trying to get you angry or make you sad just overlook unnecessary things that can get you worked up or get you angry or get you frustrated okay just enjoy have fun uh, we have come to the end of the video i spent almost two hours making this video and i enjoyed it making this video is really productive for me because I'm doing two things at the same time. I'm getting ready for church and I'm also able to make a video which I really enjoyed doing. So guys, that's the end of this video and this is my makeup. You guys do not blame me. I'm not a professional makeup artist and I'm not looking forward to be one. I just want to do something moderate, something nice to make myself look beautiful. So this is everything. Don't learn makeup from me, oh, because <laughs> I just do anything I want on my face. Okay, just something simple and natural. This is not natural because I've had it too much colors. Okay, so that's it, guys. Um, I'll be posting more about wedding related content. I mean, for now, I have so many things written down that I want to share with you guys, especially the upcoming brides and groom to learn from so that's it for this video please if you haven't subscribed please click on the subscribe button and you can also share with your friends family soon you know subscribe let's get to 1000 subscribers this year at least please so guys this is the end of today's video and this is what my makeup looks like okay if you enjoyed this kind of get ready video with me and you want me to do more of it please let me know in the comment section your girl is ever ready to make that kind of content ah well i am fine <laughs> let's not lie i'm fine i'm fine uh -uh. we don't even need to do much anyways guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video